you're watching Musty Hands Outdoors and today we're going shopping at Dick's Sporting Goods and we have $20 to spend and we need to buy an ice fishing setup that can catch you a fish. We're walking to Dick's Sporting Goods now. Fishing selection. They have the Sepco rod for $14.99. They use plastic for $3.99. They They have the Scandia tungsten. Those are jigs. They're all under the 197 jigs. Those 219 glow jigs, those are pretty big. Holy crap, they don't have any jigs here. I don't think those strings are going to work. We don't have much for ice fishing stuff here. We'll have to get these white jigs. And let's see, we need some plastics. And then, these are 209. And we need some sugar plastics. Some mustache worms. I think we'll be under twenty dollars. So we got this rod. These mustache worms. And these neon light jigs which are two oh nine. Today you're watching Mr. Hans Outdoors and we're working on the film and completing the Dick's Sporting Good Fishing Channel. So I just got to I just got to thought I want to fish. And there's no one here, but I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing. But we're gonna go out and we got the rod in the car. It's kind of chilly out, and then we're going to fish, so here's my Doc Demon Rod from Zepco. It has a high quality plastic spool, it was the cheapest ice fishing rod they had at Dick's, it was $15, I don't know how I'm going to get this year off. I might just end up leaving the zip ties on it. I'm going to rig it up. And I'm going to fish with this for like a half an hour and then I'm going to change the spikes or waxies if I'm not catching anything on these plastics. 
then I'll try these worms somewhere else. So here's my trigger X. I'm assuming you hook these by the middle. I'm not 100% sure. It says they'll trigger the bite though, so we better get some bites triggered. Oh, this line does have a lot of memory. So we got our jig here, and we got our plastics here. It says these perch jigs can catch these neon lights jigs can catch perch panfish and walleyes i thought well perch were considered a panfish though I guess we don't need all this line on if we're just... Oh, another crappie. Maybe they'll hit that mustache plastic now. Let's see. So the first night, I tried to catch a fish on my $20 dick setup. I fished with the mustache worm for about a half an hour, and I didn't get any bites. And I tried putting my flasher down the hole where I had the mustache worm, and the fish were following it but not taking it. So I put a wax worm on the rod, and I caught like three or four crappies on it with the wax worm. And then after dark, I put back on the mustache worm, and I did catch a crappie on the jig I bought with the mustache worm but it required the flasher for me to catch that so does that does not count as the challenge being complete we're out here on the Nona Bay and we'll do a little fishing <laughs> oh 
Oh, we got a nice fish. Ooh, we caught one on the mustache worm. Challenge complete. A nice gill. On the mustache worm, see? The mustache worm is right here in its mouth. That is a nice gill on the mustache worm. These gills are nice. It's fucking cold out here. That is a slab. <sighs> nice gill. The next day I went out to a different spot that I fished at and this day I just walked out and I walked around and found a spot where there was a gap in the weeds and I drilled a couple holes and I dropped down my $20 dick setup and I dropped down my jig that had been working well on a spike and I caught a bunch of bluegills on the jig and spike and I caught one bluegill on the jig and mustache worm from set up from dicks. So the challenge is complete. If you like these fishing comment, fishing challenges, comment below. And I have one more budget ice fishing challenge coming. And that will be my last budget ice fishing challenge. And I have a couple other silly ice fishing challenge videos for you to watch that I am going to be uploading in the near future. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I do a shout out at the end of one of each of my videos to one of my subscribers who is commenting on my video so I just choose someone who commented on the last video I posted and I give them a shout out at the end and I link their channel in the description for this video so my shout out for this video is to for the kids fishing and I will link their channel below thanks for watching